guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is ashley elizabeth and i am a makeup artist from the uk if you're not new here then you will know it has been a little while since i posted a video on here but one thing i said to myself for 2021 is that i want to try and get back into youtube and start pumping videos out regularly we'll see how well this goes First of all, before we get into anything, Happy New Year. We are currently in January 2021. 2020 was, it was a year. It was a, it was a moment. It was a strange one. Nothing's changed so far in 2021, but we feel like we can have a fresh start on the 1st of January. So we'll see how the next 12 months go. But yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. So I'm going to be kicking off my return to YouTube with a little product review. So we're going to be doing like a product test, tutorial, slash review. And of course, as you guessed from the title, it's the brand new Jamie Genevieve Vive makeup collection. Now, I don't actually have the full collection. So I have the Essentials Eyeshadow Palette and one of the lipsticks. That was my little Christmas treat of Daniel. So I'm sure you've all seen it already, but here is the eyeshadow palette. So it is called the Essential Palette. I love this packaging. I love the black and gold. I feel like it's just very chic. I like the little cardboard sleeve that the palette comes in. And then this is the actual palette. It's got like this sort of faux leather feel. It feels quite heavy duty, it feels quite luxurious the little gold branding on the bottom there too and then we open it up this is a little bit messy because i have swatched some of the colors already but here is the palette so i am a working makeup artist i work on clients and things like that so that is one of the reasons that i had to pick this palette up because it is just the perfect neutrals palette these colors are gorgeous these pans are huge so they will get a lot of use like i said i am a work of makeup artist so neutrals i go through neutrals like there is no tomorrow so these pans will last me quite some time i just feel like this is a perfect palette to have in your kit if you are a makeup artist even if you're not a makeup artist and you just like to play with makeup or do some makeup on yourself when you're going out or absolutely anything this is such a pretty palette to have in your collection because you've got your blacks your deeper tone browns some mustardy shades a nice caramelly tone and there is also a matte white which i like that is included so i'm just put my middle finger up to you and then we've got three shimmer shades these are beautiful so these so obviously you've got like the nice light gold then like a nice mid-tone gold and then a deeper bronzy gold so you could get so many different looks out of these 10 shades i feel like this is going to go down very very well in my kit i feel like i keep looking away from the lens i do apologize because i'm out of practice i'm actually filming videos now on my phone so i'm straying it's because i'm just too busy looking at myself in the screen so along with the essential eyeshadow palette i also got one of the lipsticks again this beautiful black and gold packaging and then when you take it out it's got this like i don't know how to describe like this bumpy texture there's probably an official name for it it's kind of similar to the faux leather finish that is on the palette but it's it's more plasticky so again the black and gold we've got the v on top i feel like this looks very very chic anything black and gold just screams luxury to me and then again i have already so i might have already worn this so it has got a little bit of usage this is just a beautiful nude color i knew i could count on jamie genevieve to bring out some stunning nudes so obviously we're going to create a killer eyeshadow look with this palette so let's get started as with all of my eyeshadow looks i'm going to prime my eyelids with the p louise eyeshadow base in the shade number two so i'm just going to quickly get that on So 
So a lot of the looks I've seen with the Essentials palette have been like lovely soft blown out smoky eyes which is very very Jamie but I think I'm gonna bring the drama. I think I'm gonna have to do a cut crease ombre lid just my kind of vibes. If you follow me on Instagram you'll know cut crease is just my go-to for everything. So I think we're gonna go for a little bit of a cut crease today. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my Morphe M507 and I'm going to go into shade Lava Rock, this nice deep brown. And I'm going to start building that up through my crease. So this colour is building up very, very nicely. It's not going too patchy or anything like that. I am just building it up around my crease. This is exactly how I build up eyeshadows in general. Then I'm just going to blend this outer edge just to soften it up before we go in with anything else. So far, the eyeshadows feel really nice, like really buttery, very lightweight. There is a little bit of kickback in the pan, but that never bothers me. I just see people mention it in other videos, like it's a problem. So I feel like I always have to mention that situation. I feel like the more pigmentation you get in an eyeshadow, the more kickback there's going to be. So when you have like pressed pigments, I'm not sure if these are pressed pigments or just eyeshadows. I'm assuming just, it doesn't say, so I'm assuming they are just eyeshadows. But the more pigment that gets built into the palette, to the eye, into the eyeshadow, sorry, the more kickback you tend to get. That's why quite often like purple eyeshadows are the ones that are are quite powdery so this is a really pretty cool tone brown i like that it's not super warm i like that there is a mixture of like cool and warm tones in there because i love that so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a clean m507 and i'm going to go in with that gorgeous brown shade delicious this pretty pretty brown here on the bottom oh i completely forgot to mention i love the fact that this palette comes with a mirror look at me exposing myself there this palette comes with a mirror that you can completely fold down. So you can use it when you're traveling, you can use your mirror, or like myself, if you are a working makeup artist, it doesn't take up as much room on your desk. So going in with Delicious, I'm just gonna build that up. Oh, that's a little bit darker than I expected, but I like it. I am just gonna build that up around that first shade, which was Lava Rock. And I am literally going in with one dot into the pan and just look at this pigment it's building up amazingly there's so much color payoff then again i'm just gonna use that brush to blend off that edge and then i'm gonna switch to a zoeva 227 and i'm gonna grab this shade here called buff this is the shade i was most excited about in the palette i love a good i'd say it was like a coolly toned caramelly shade but i love a good caramel tone so i'm just gonna buff this around the outer edge and then once i get to this outer corner portion i'm just gonna start dragging it out ever so slightly i don't want it completely harshly rounded i just want it pulled out a little bit into that bronzer this is like definitely my favourite colour combination of browns. These tones are so beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back down my other colours and just blend between building the colours back up and making sure they're all blended into one another. So I'll fast forward this a little bit. So here is how we are looking at the moment. And I think what I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my Zoeva 228, just this big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna grab this like mustardy tone called Chow. And I'm just gonna buff that around just the very edges. Just to add a little bit more warmth. And just because I wanna try and use as many of the eyeshadows as I possibly can. And I am all for super 
grungy, blown out, get it in my hairline kind of eyeshadows. So now we are at this stage, it's time to carve my crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly wipe away any um, darkness that I've got on my lid because I really want these shimmers to pop. Okay, so now that that is all clear, I'm going to grab the P. Louise base that I use to prime my eyelids and I'm just going to quickly carve my crease. I genuinely think that is one of the best cut creases I have done on camera ever. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a, an ombre progression of all three shimmers on my eyelid, if I can. So I'm just going to grab a Zoeva 234. This is one of my favourite brushes to pack shimmer and things on with. And I'm going to start off with the darker shimmer, which is called Thea. So I'm going to get some of that on my brush. And I have seen a lot of people spraying the shimmer just to make it extra shiny so what i'm going to do i'm going to focus this right on this join where the shimmers will meet the mattes oh that is a pretty pretty bronze and spraying it as well is not giving any fallout oh they are beautiful So I'm just going to wipe off that brush because I've only got one of these and then I'm going to go in with the next shimmer shade which is this beautiful goldy tone called Carrot. So we're going to get that right in the centre of our cut crease. I'm just making sure they're blended together. So I'm just like patting over the join where then two colours will meet. And then I'm going to switch brush for this stage just because my inner corners are quite tight. So I just need a little smaller brush so I can get right in there. I'm just going to use, I don't know what this is. It's just some random brush from one of them random sets. And I'm going to grab the lightest shimmer in the palette called Glimmer. So I'm doing the same, picking it up on my brush and then spraying my brush with a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm just getting that right on. Oh, right in that inner corner. Look how much that's brightened up. That one is beaut. They all are, but that one's my fave. Oh, this this i'm very happy with this then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a morphe m508 which is just this little teeny tiny smudgy brush and i'm gonna get the black in the palette which is called good night i'm just gonna press that along my upper lash line just to act as like a little bit of an eyeliner while that is black I'm not taking that all the way in just because I want to leave that in a corner quite bright. So I'm just going to quickly do the under eye. So I'm going to start with a bit of black eyeliner. Barry M Black uh, Bold Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. And just get that right in that lash line. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a pencil brush. Then I'm just going to go in with all of the matte shades that we used on top of the eye to fill in the bottom. So I'm going to start with Lava Rock. Then I'm going to blend that out with Delicious. And then finally with a little bit of Buff. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a little pencil brush and some of that lightest shimmer shade, so Glimmer. And I'm just going to pull that onto the under eye. So the lashes I'm going to use today are the Blinky Boo eyelashes and these are the style Teddy. And while the glue dries on them, I'm just going to grab my Morphe Make It Big Mascara. So some of you might have noticed I actually don't have any highlighter on at the moment. Now I didn't pick up any of the Vive highlighters 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lightest shimmer shade from the palette, Glimmer. And I'm going to use that as my highlighter today. So I'm going to use my Buff and Blend BB08. And I'm just going to grab... I'm, I am aware this is going to be slightly more pigmented because it is an eyeshadow and not intended for highlighter. So let's just keep that in mind. And I always like to start with the tip of my nose. Just in case I don't end up liking it. This is a gorgeous highlighter shade. Oh yes, that worked out very well. I'm just going to add a little bit more to those inner corners just to really brighten that whole section up. And then finally, I did mention before that I got one of the lipsticks. So the shade I got was Treasure, which is this gorgeous... It's like a peachy nude kind of vibe. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put the lipstick on first on its own. And then if I wanna use a lip liner, I'll add that in afterwards. That is a really, really pretty nude. So you could leave it like this if you were doing, you know, just like an everyday kind of thing. But I feel like it looks just a little bit too light for me at the moment because I have got tan on. Actually, it's not that too, it's not too bad. But like I said, I love the drama, so I'm going to add a little bit of liner. I'm not going to do anything too drastic. I'm just going to use my Morphe Lip Pencil in the shade Sweetheart. Just to add a little bit of definition. And I am going to pull that into the lip ever so slightly. I'm just going to grab one of my Morphe M4, M507 and just make sure I haven't made any harsh lines with that lip pencil. I'm just going to finish everything off with a spritz of the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, so there we have the finished look. I am so happy with how this turned out. Final thoughts on everything. I absolutely love this palette. This is definitely, definitely going in my kit. Once I'm allowed to work again, I feel like it is the perfect, perfect neutrals palette for anyone that loves these kind of tones. This will go well for bridal, for like soft glams. You can build it up. You can get like a nice, gorgeous, full black smoky eye. There are so many things you could do with this palette with 10 shades the lipstick so this feels very soft it is a matte yeah modern matte lipstick so it is a more matte finish so if you are more on the dry side with lips maybe this won't feel very good for you it doesn't feel dry on my lips like i can't normally you know when you use like matte liquid lipsticks and you're like because you you can just feel it can't feel a thing my lips right now it doesn't feel like i've got anything on there's no like dryness there's no tightness anything like that it feels super creamy super lightweight and i am obsessed so very well done to jamie genevieve i knew it was going to be amazing so i am so happy she's finally brought a brand out and i can't wait to try more of the collection and more products when they eventually come out that will be very exciting. So that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully one of many, many, many to come with me being back on YouTube. If you could, please be so kind and to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And while you are down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a little comment what are some of your goals for the next 12 months? What do you want to do in 2021? What are you most looking forward to this year? Just leave me a little something below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!